what a wonderful human being she was. If the turnout at Sunday's candlelight vigil is any indication, Tiffany Ojeda Hill will undoubtedly be missed. The mother of three was gunned down in the parking lot of a Clark County school. Authorities say her estranged husband, Keeland Hill, pulled the trigger, killing her and injuring her mom before turning the gun on himself. This case has gotten to me since the day you guys reported on it. Michelle Bart is president and co-founder of the National Women's Coalition Against Violence and Exploitation. She says the justice system should protect people like Tiffany. Ultimately, Tiffany may still be here. But instead, it failed her. And for proof, all you have to do is look at what happened in the weeks leading up to the deadly shooting. On September 11, Tiffany reports that Keelan pushed her into a wall and tried to keep her from calling 911. Keelan is arrested, but the very next day he's released from jail on bail and told not to contact Tiffany. On September 14th and 19th, Keelan's accused of contacting Tiffany, a violation of that no contact order. Moving on to October, October 6th, in fact, Keelan tries to buy a rifle from a Walmart in Multnomah County, but a background check hits on the domestic violence case and he's denied. Four days later on October 10th, Keelan is again accused of contacting Tiffany. On November 7th, he's accused of contacting Tiffany yet again. Only this time, detectives find a GPS tracker on Tiffany's car and Keelan's arrested. The next day on November 8th, police complete a danger assessment with Tiffany. She's placed in the extreme risk category. On November 13th, prosecutors ask a judge to raise Keelan's bail from $75,000 to $2 million, saying that Tiffany is at risk of being killed. A judge sets bail at $250,000. I want to know why it is that the judges in Clark County are not taking the recommendations set forth by investigators, witnesses, victims, and the prosecutors that are trying to protect the victims. Why the judge refused to listen to prosecutors eats away at Bart, because on November 21st, Keelan bailed out of jail. And five days later, on November 26th, he's accused of shooting and killing Tiffany and injuring her mother. You've got three children that will be traumatized the rest of their life. They were in the car. And then you've got Tiffany's mother that was shot that will be traumatized. Tiffany's friends have vowed to help change the system in hopes of saving other victims of domestic violence from this heartbreaking outcome. Back to you.